Hey Data, this is Blue Set, and yeah, this is your base, the world that you have created, and yeah. I know you're probably thinking, what in the world are you doing to my whole friend system? Well, I am giving it a facelift. It's not a necessary facelift, but it is the facelift that it will require. I'm in the process of actually making this all relatively smoothed out. Smoothed out in the sense of where it can actually put items in and have a light indicator. And of course you're probably asking, why a light indicator? Well, this will tell you whether or not each chest has a item or each, not chest, but each furnace has a specific amount of coal, you know, fuel, to continue the process of, you know, getting everything all synchronized. Now, I got everything out, and I made sure I did that. That was my first step. But my other sets is working on your inventory system. Don't worry, it's going to be, I think, more smooth, in a sense. Each one's going to have 10 chests, and each one's going to have a light indicator. Basically, a silo area. Instead of just a light indicator that shows which one's being filled, I'm going to have one that's going to have, shows how much is filled. I know how much cobblestone you have. Trust me, I filled up several chests just emptying it. And this one's actually just going to have... This was definitely going to be fully on anyways. But hopefully, by the time I'm done with everything, everything will be smoothed out. And let me showcase of what I plan to do for your uh, furnace system. Okay, this is what I actually plan on doing. Having all automated, in a sense, everything is all synchronous. Each one has a pulse. This is going to be the system. It's going to be definitely compact. As you can see here, the fuel line goes in, goes down that way, hits a comparator, and flips everything so that it can actually tick down and then in. The signal is here from the comparators will indicate whether or not there is fuel supply in the system. Basically enough of where it says that it is there, you're going to be fine on it. Of course, as you can see, I have done several recreations of it, all of them to no avail. This one, however, is actually your design. As you can see, fairly straightforward. What I plan on doing is moving it back, at least one back, and actually make it that way. By doing this, I can guarantee at least two more chests on the sides, making it eight wide or eight uh, furnaces on each side. So giving it definitely more room to go and smelt. And of course, a light indicator. Being parallel to the walls when you come down, you're gonna have a very nice view of seeing which one is not enough on. And you can put in more fuel by doing so. See? practically full and they're just chucking away because each one is relatively evenly distributed at least that's the plan my original idea was rather disproportional but it does show the idea My original plan was using this, but too far wide, 
and not enough compact. But let me go ahead and update what I put down and see about how it works. Okay, I found a quick solution for this. Um, I was wrong about how many furnaces. I will only need six. Yeah, push back six is going to be fine because it gives enough space for the wires do not touch. So yeah, for in order for that to work, wires are not supposed to touch. So I'm rather bummed out for that fact. I cannot have a wire over here per se. You know, let's say if I were to have wires relatively in this vicinity, and I were to have, oh, let's see, hopper, 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 uh, furnace, Okay, actually, I can make this work. What is that? I cannot have any wires close to this torch. So that's probably where my fault came in. It can connect to the side, but there was no reason to do so. So my foot planned on that, and yeah, it was pretty messed up. I will admit that. Should only go to where the hopper ends. Basically, it leads into the furnace. But I didn't do that. I actually made a closed circuit, and not only for that closed circuit, ah, there you are. It is right there. But because it's touching and getting constant power, it's actually going to be activating that. Not only that, this torch here, right next to that. Always powering that. Uh, where's my design? Ah, over that way. So, basically, I cannot have any hoppers near this. Sure, I can have a a system here, but I cannot have a dust line there. This can be shorter. It literally can. But I screwed the pooch. So, yeah, I screwed the pooch on this one. So I found my mistake. So, six on each side instead of eight, that's going to work. So, I'm going to do that instead, and I'll see you over there. Alrighty, I want to give a status update of how things are going. I lowered it down, and unfortunately, data, I had to knock out two lines of your cobblestone collector. But you still have an impressive amount of cobblestones, chests, in place as it is. So you're definitely not going to run out anytime soon. Now I could replace them and in fact that would not be a bad idea to replace them and put them in. So hopefully this will get fixed out relative. But the sign's still going to be there but I had to really cut it close on the uh, hoppers. Now the furnace is working wonderfully. I already got a small section going, and hopefully I'll have the other section going relatively smoothly as well. So you're going to have a nice, very, very nice system of where everything is going to be smooth. Oh, as smooth as possibly manageable. Now, I'm just going to keep the 
access area is relatively open so that I can actually go ahead and do that. And, oh. Need to fill this up so that I don't, you know, quote unquote, damage them, as in go trigger happy with the uh, pickaxe. Trust me, I've done that too many times. I want to avoid that. So, that's the current situation. Oh, and I want to show you something. Something I did for your base. I know you've been working on your project here, but this is what I've done. See? Ta-da! Got you a full pyramid tower. And of course, it's not all diamond blocks. See? This works as well. So, just want to show you that, you know, you still have plenty of diamonds. I mean, good lord, you do have plenty of diamonds. You're not going to run out. So, just wanted to showcase that. And let me go ahead and get back to it. Alright, just a bit of a status update. I finally get to put in the top hopper for the input system. This is starting to look like what it used to be for Data, for his um, whole system. So it is finally coming together. After close to relatively a day's worth of um, hard work, sweat, and uh, frustration tears, mind you, manly frustration tears, there we go. Now I'm going to need to put an input to see if it does trip it. Zoom in around. Then you'll hit that. Okay. Okay, it did work. It's just fast. Alright. So, it does work. Okay, that's great. So, next part is getting in the whole uh, fuel system. Getting that all hooked in, synced up, and whatnot. I'm actually going to do the opposite on this. Because, look at this. See where it's at? It'll come down and start to fuel this way. So it is indeed coming along. The ladder, unfortunately, may be going to be replaced. I'm not sure. Actually, tell you what, I don't think it was needed to be taken out anyways. But I may just keep it out just because I might actually go through having it reversed. So we'll see about that. Well, uh, oops. Um, after a while, you know, it's been a while, and after a couple breaks and a cookie break, yes, I make cookies, it's, it is complete. Oh. I forgot to fill that in. Yes, it is very much complete, and very much so. So the only thing I have to do now is fill the thing up entirely of coal, and we'll see how well it runs. Now, like before, I have changed it where it is definitely trap chest so there is that benefit okay, there we go alrighty alright judgment day I should see a tick for all of them when it gets through it Uh, 
frames are dropping, so that means it is filling. I hope it's not one at a time, though. Please tell me I didn't put it the wrong way. here into this and okay problem solved okay I got that problem solved apparently blocks don't like each other Okay, it's blinking. That's good. Somehow I got this all jammed up on accident. So, it's going. Good. <laughs> Lesson learned. Don't be doing that. Alright. So, that's going on. That's going to be good. It's going to take a while. Whoa. Oh, the frames are dropping. But every single last one of them is lighting. They all lit up, they all flashed, which is good. That's what I want to see. Uh, let's see it again. Or did it get filled up? Okay, yeah, they're all getting filled up. Good. Nice. Alright. Yeah, a few of them are getting lit up faster, though. I think I have a delay somewhere shouldn't be much that's fine it's it's showing that it's being filled up which is good nines 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 and nines okay that's a 10 because they just went through okay all right this is good this is fantastic and poor mr efficient uh, unbreaking pickaxe I try to fix you, but it's, the system is saying you're too expensive to fix you, which is a shame. But everything is working. Yes, everything's lighting up. Everything's going to be working. This is fantastic. And even in a glance, you can see that all of them will light up. Fantastic. Ah. Yep. All of them light up in a counterclockwise fashion. Trust me, I have this on peaceful, so there's no monsters. So, fantastic. This is phenomenal. I am happy for the fact that this is done, and it's all clocking in, it's all cycling in. Of course, Okay, it's still going through. Ah, oh, phenomenal. Absolutely. Right, so my original plan to have it, having eight was scrapped. For good reasons. Having six, however, is just better. I will admit that, it's better. For the best of doing just that. Let me go ahead and add in the finishing touches, but I want to see some smelting done. I want to see if it can actually do it proper. Um, ah, well, that's not cobblestone. Uh, I want some raw ores here.
Ah, bunch of, bunch of stuff. <laughs> Don't worry, Data. All your cobblestone's fine. They were just backed up. <laughs> Oh yeah, I made these other tests, but there wasn't any need for it. Um, I thought I put ores here for you. I guess I must have cooked them up already. Oh, there's more furnaces. Um. Oh wait, uh, well that's just only two, never mind. So, once all this is done sorting through and getting everything done, trust me, it's not done yet. Everything is still being filtered through. I'll go through the process of getting everything uh, pushed through. But I want this lighting system to work, and it's working. It's working properly. All right, back in a jiffy. Alrighty. I tried to finagle with it because not all the lights were showing up. But I have an idea. There's a way to actually just jumpstart it, you know, in a sense. It could be that, yeah, here we go. Not all the items here were actually, f uh, well, not all the furnaces were fully loaded. This is usually the main problem for most of these furnaces. As not all the items do get um, fully integrated in fully. But it usually does happen. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill in what's there, and then I'll get to the point of uh, getting all these items uh, tested, or these furnaces tested, to see if they all, in a sense, synchronously uh, smelt something. Alrighty. I'm gonna dump the rest into the, here. Although it says it's still working on it, I don't doubt that for the least bit. Not all the items will be fully synchronous in, but this should give it a chance to actually have all the lights show up. While I'm waiting, I might as well go ahead and grab uh, at least six stacks of... Well, an entire row stack of uh, cobblestone. Okay, I think I found the problem though. It's my redstone wiring. It's causing it to kink up. I thought I found a way around it, but I guess not. Oops. Uh, oh, I just pushed it through. Ow. Yeah, okay, so the signal lighting is causing a bit of a problem. I think that should do it. The frame rate is dropping significantly. 
Uh, definitely. Good lord. Alright. Uh, if we can make it down. Okay, all of them are now lighting up. They're all... Alrighty. This is working. Okay, so I did find the problem. It's these... The lanterns are actually uh, causing some problems. Let me see if I can get some uh, slabs and see if that will work. If it does, that will be great. I'll be using that instead. Okay, the system works very well. There was some problems about trying to find where certain items went. But I figured that they'll probably end up... Well... Right here. <laughs> there were over here, huh? Oh well. Oops. So, it worked out in the end. So, it did work. I got the stones from the whole forging process. Now the next step is retrofitting the entire system here into silos. And that's going to take a while. And I'm not kidding about that. It's going to take a long while. But I think he should be happy for the fact that there is now a good supply of coal and a lighting system to indicate which one got what. What, where, and when. And mostly, how. Alrighty. Finishing touches. Whoops, forgot I have a spot. Mm, ah. There we go. Looking sharp. A nice corner pockets makes this place look fantastic. And this entire process works. It works fully, though I would. Ah, there are some torches. There. Keep the baddies out. And let me go ahead and top off the entire system here. I guess the entire thing is full. Yeah, the entire thing is full. So yeah, that's it for that. Of course, don't worry. Once it starts burning through, it'll sink down and get things leveled out. So my next major task and project is getting the sorting system sorted. Mainly the storage area. A lot of open gaps which can be filled in, but how many items is there you're going to collect? Probably not enough. So that's going to be my next major task is getting this whole system all situated.